2017 Mazda CX-5. The new CX-5 is actually a bit wider in the front and rear, but not by much, with just 0.39 inches added to the overall width. Notice how the roof is just a little more bubbly in the front? That's because Mazda moved the A-pillars back by 1.38 inches, making the front clip look inherently longer. As you can see, the layout of the windows hasn't changed at all, with the only notable difference being the chrome trim that gets much wider as it curves along the lower edge of the rear quarter window. As far as the rest of the side profile goes, it took a few changes as well. For instance, there's a small concave area just behind the rear stationary glass. The body lines just below the waistline carry over, but the concave section on the lower portion of the doors has been leveled out and lowered. As such, the garnishing on the side skirts is now shorter. Up front, the grille is now a little bit larger and now features a black mesh as opposed to the horizontal slats of the outgoing model. It also has a floating look thanks to the slight overhang above it and a chrome trim insert that encompasses the bottom and sides, effectively leading into the headlights. Those headlights, by the way, are now smaller and sleeker and feature an all-new lens layout. Down below, the air dam is about the same size but is accented by the body cladding that covers the bottom of the fascia. This cladding enhances the sporty appearance of the CX-5 giving it the appearance of having a front spoiler of sorts. And, rounding off the front, are the new thinner and wider fog lights that you quite simply can't miss when comparing the new and outgoing model. 